Hopefully these videos will help you to lead you ahead from where you are. Just quickly hear me out for the next few minutes. It will immensely help you in getting the solution for the most important problem today. So here we have to find the real root of the equation x cube minus x minus 11 is equal to 0 using bisection method. So let's get started to find the solution. So here it was given that f of x is equal to this is x cube minus x minus 11. So first of all I am going with x is equal to 1. So if I keep x is equal to 1 this will be f of 1. So which is equal to 1 cube minus 1 minus 11. So 1 cube is automatically 1 minus 1 minus 11. So if I cancel this one I got minus 11 and which is less than 0. And next if I go with x is equal to 2. So f of 2 will be this is 2 cube minus 2 minus 11. 2 cube it is nothing but 8. This is this is nothing but so this is 13 and which is equal to minus 5 and this is also less than 0. And again if I take x is equal to 3, so f of 3 will be, so this will be uh, 3 cube 27 minus 3 minus 11. So 27 minus and this is 14 and this is 13 and which is a positive value. So if we get a positive and a negative consequently then we have to stop giving the data the stop giving the points so here we have to consider this as x0 so here x0 is equal to 2 and x1 is equal to 3 so we have to start with 2 and 3 therefore the root lies between 2 and 3 therefore the real root lies between so it should not exceed 3 so it, it should be between 2 and 3 therefore the real root lies between 2 and 3. So here we have to note down all the values which we have calculated now. So here our x2 value is nothing but 2 and we got this value. So for 2 if I keep x is equal to 2 I got a negative value here and x1 value. So x1 value I have taken this as 3 and this one is a positive value. So later so if there are two different different signs, so for x2 value we have to take x0 and x1, x0 and x1 as the bisected values. So for our next value that is x2, so x2 will get after bisecting these two values that is x0 and x1 by 2. So here we have all the values here. So x0 value is very clear here that is x2 value is nothing but 2 plus 3 by 2. So x2 value will be this is 5 by 2 and x2 x2 value here. So x2 value here is uh, this is 2.5. So this is nothing but 2.5. So our x2 value will be this is 2.5. So after getting this value again we have to check. Check the value that is f of x2. So here we have from the question that f of x is equal to so f of x is nothing but this is x cube minus x minus 11 and we got this x2 value as x2 value as this is 2.5 and f of 2.5 is nothing but this is 2.5 whole cube minus 2.5 minus 11 so again if we use this calci then this is 2.5 cap 3 minus this is 2.5 minus 11 so which is a positive value so this is a positive value immediately we have to note down here somewhere so if i note down here so x2 value is nothing but this is 2.5 and this is again a positive value so if i get the same signs so we have to leave this value so for different different signs so this is positive and we have to go with the negative for the next bijected value so you we have to select these two values so the next x3 value will get by bisecting so x3 value will get by bisecting x0 as well as x2 by 2 so remember here so immediately uh, the very next one is uh, of same sign so we need different different signs so this is positive and this is negative so we have to use these two values for the next bisected value x3 
so x3 value will be so what is our x0 value so x0 value is 2 and what is our x2 value this is 2.5 divided by 2 and x3 value will be this is 4.5 divided by 2 and x3 value will be this is 4.5 divided by 2 which is 2.25 so this is 2.25 so i got x3 value as this is 2.25 value and again i have to calculate f of x3 so using this one that is x cube minus x minus 11 so f of this is 2.25 value is nothing but this is 2.25 whole cube minus this is 2.25 minus 11 so this will be this is 2.25 cap 3 minus this is 2.25 minus 11 so the value here is minus 1.859375 which is less than 0 so this value we got is a less than 0 this is a less than 0 zero value so we have less than here and greater than there so immediately we have to use x2 and x3 for the next value so for x4 we have to bisect x2 and x3 so for x4 value i am bisecting x2 plus x3 by 2 so every value is ready here so i am going with x2 what is our x2 value this is 2.5 and this value is 2.25 divided by 2 so our x2 value will be so this is 2.5 plus this is 2.25 this is 4.75 divided by 2 so this is divided by 2 which is 2.375 375 i got x4 value as this is 2.375 and again i have to check f of x4 so if i go with x4 so in this we have to substitute x cube minus x minus 11 so f of this is 2.375 value will be this is 2.375 whole cube minus this value is 2.375 and minus 11 so if i use this can see then this will be 2.375 cap 3 minus this is 2.375 minus 11 so this value is nothing but 0 0.02148 so which is a positive value so again we got this value as a positive value so this is a positive value and this is the negative value so if we have different different signs here so we have to take x3 and x4 values for bisection uh, in order to get the value of x5 so our x5 value will be so our in our x5 value so we'll get the x5 value as x5 value as x3 plus x4 by 2 so this will be x3 plus x4 by 2 so this value will be so if you check this one so x5 value will be what is our x3 value this is 2.25 plus this is 2.375 divided by 2 and x5 value is nothing but see here this is 2.25 plus 2.375 the value is this is 4.675 divided by 2 and x5 value is nothing but divided by 2 which is nothing but this is 2.3125 so as i said you earlier that the root lies between 2 and 3 so after five iterations so we have to stop and uh, this will be the answer and you can still extend if you have some more time and uh, until five iterations it's very um, good to solve and here hence the root the approximate value of the root is hence the root hence the real root of the the given equation of the given equation so which equation it is x cube minus x minus 11 is equal to 0 is the x value is 2.3125 so this is the final answer and this is uh, the value uh, the required value and thank you so much for uh, watching and staying till the end and here if you note this that is 3.125 and still we can you can extend if you have some more time and there is no need here it is 2.3 and here it is also 2.3 so if there are if the roots are similar here we can stop and we can conclude that it is
is uh, 2.315 is the answer solution and i'm sure that if you follow these videos you will see improvement gradually it will not happen instantly but eventually it will happen one day so please do follow these videos and if you really like you know what to do please subscribe and share it to your friends because they also need it so that is the great help I, I need from you and thank you so much i'll be posting many many videos and tomorrow i'll be teaching i'll be teaching regular falsimeter and please go through those videos also and thank you so much